Hello everyone and welcome to session number four of EART 2211 Evolution and Paleobiology. Unlike the last session I did for you which was um, on evolutionary milestones um, where I had to set up the teaching in essentially six hours between the uh, announcement of our timetable for the term and the uh, and going away on field work, uh, I now have a bit more time so I'm re-recording these introductory videos for you. So I'm speaking to you in 2021 from a rather sunny and quite nice, albeit very autumnal looking Manchester. And I'm going to be recording um, this video to introduce what we're going to be looking at over the course of the coming uh, videos. There's going to be three of them this time around. And uh, then what we're going to be covering in our in-person session. And the topic of those videos and that session is extinction. So before I uh, kind of plow on into uh, what we're going to be looking at over the course of this particular bit of the unit, I think it's always worth focusing on why uh, what we're looking at matters. So I think it's not uh, going to be much of a surprise to you that extinctions, the, the extinction of a species, and I'll define this for you in the first video, but extinctions impact on ecosystems. If you have an ecosystem that's made up of multiple interacting species, uh, the extinction of some of those will have uh, a moderate to significant impact on the functioning of that ecosystem, depending on what the species is. So that's one reason why this matters. And I, I think um, it also makes sense to recognize that until uh, very recently, um, and especially over the last 200 years, humanity has largely benefited from the systematic destruction of much of nature. So when we're thinking about the impact that we as humans have on the planet, I think we need to recognize that in many cases, taming natural ecosystems, which results in extinction, has actually benefited us in terms of things that we have considered important. So for example, um, the, the construction of cities um, and places for humans to live does have negative impact on species diversity. And it's within that context that I think I would highlight that I think there are valuable arguments that we can make that we should inherently care about biodiversity and the state of the planet. So when I'm defining to you why I think this matters, I don't think actually for this particular lecture, I need to do much work. There are lots and lots of reasons why looking after the planet we live on is actually a very good idea. And looking at the ecosystems so looking after, I should say, the ecosystems of which we are a part is a worthwhile aim in and of itself. But even if you don't agree with me on that, and there's no reason particularly that you should feel the need to do so, um, if we were only interested in humanity and, and kind of um, the, the kind of human societies within the context of extinction, as we will learn over the course of this lecture, lecture Extinctions can destabilize many of the systems upon which we as a species and our cultures depend. So even if we're only interested in extinction from the point of view of what things that matter to humans, um, it is a really, really important topic. So over the course of these videos and then our in-person session, I am going to be looking at First, in video number one, the history of thought behind its, behind extinction. So how we got from, um, from uh, the kind of the status quo um, a long time ago when we didn't realize extinction was even a thing to our thinking today. So some of the major players within that. I'll then talk about, in video number two, the extinction of space species. So this is um, looking at the extinction process at a species level. And this is something that's going on all the time. It's kind of like a background process that's part of life, essentially. Sometimes, however, extinction uh, comes in pulses. You have pulses of species extinctions. We may want to call these mass extinctions. So in my third video, I'm going to be giving some definitions of mass extinctions for you. And we're going to be looking at some of the patterns that we see kind of writ large across mass extinctions. 
That's it for the videos. There's only going to be three of them for you to watch before our in-person session. And then in our in-person session, I'm going to be giving you an overview of the big five mass extinctions. Now that involves quite a lot of terminology relating to animal groups. So at the bottom of the website um, that you're going to be watching the first three videos on, you'll find an introduction, a quick um, kind of crash course in the major group of animals, which you really um, ought to know about in order to understand the context of these um, extinctions and of the in-person session. So if those are familiar to you, please skip them and all is good. If you're not familiar with those groups of animals and where they sit on the Tree of Life, do take the time to have a quick scroll through the remainder of that website and look at those animals and, and kind of get an idea for how they're all related to each other. So that's really useful for the first bit of our in-person session, looking at the five big mass extinctions. And then I'm going to be finishing our in-person session with um, a small amount of material on the sixth mass extinction, the one that we arguably as humans are causing at the moment. And then we'll have some time to discuss that amongst ourselves to kind of try and get a feeling for, for what's going on and how we feel about the situation. So I hope it's all going to be really interesting for you. I warn you, I'm afraid that some of this is a bit heavy. It's, um, it's not a cheerful thing to talk about extinction, so I apologise in advance for that. And I wanted to sign off this video by just reminding you that your coursework is due in at 9 a.m. on the 15th of November this year, 2021. So if you have any questions about that, please do come and ask me anything you want to, either after one of our in-person sessions or come along to one of our drop-in sessions so I can answer your questions. And with that, I will see you shortly in video number one. See ya.